guys welcome back to my channel it's marisa how is everyone today i hope everyone is doing well so today is more of a project share and i have three different things i want to show you and then i just want to show you something i bought and what i am going to be doing next okie dokie so let's start off with this guy i this is the piece of wood that I had bought from Michaels for like three or four dollars and I made this really cool beach scene with resin and some 3D elements in it. It is not 100% done yet. Um, I feel like I want to paint the inside of it. It is uh, cured. It's been about 24 hours and the only other thing I want to do here is add more white. And then I'm going to add some of this um, chunky gold glitter to the white gold uh, mica. And I'm going to like accent the waves here and then probably along the little coastline. And you got those shell pieces. So this is the stuff I used. The real shells. We have some natural shell pieces. We have the turquoise. We have a little, ma a little bit of mermaid glitter. And that whole set of uh, the beach vibes and the only um, mica that is not here is the bright gold because um, oh I did use some of that I actually did use some of the bright gold in here um, but what I did do was for this color here I started off with the Arteza this is caramel brown and I added some of the white gold mica and then I did a second layer and I used some bright gold with that caramel brown and then I painted all the sides and everything I may do another coat with some Montmart um, the, actually the pouring acrylic and in these two colors was this light blue and probably turquoise and yeah I'm probably gonna do another coat of that and then the only other thing I'm probably gonna do here is add the waves a little like you know kind of bring it out a little more and put a top coat of just clear resin when I get um, my order of resin hopefully that says it's coming on Friday so that is that I just wanted to show that to you and there's that mermaid glitter in there Yes, yeah, so I really, really like the way this has been coming out. This is kind of like my first beach scene, so I'm pretty happy with it. And then actually this has hooks on the back, so I can actually hang it up. So that is that project, almost done. And then, you remember this guy from my last video? I just wanted to show you, I did the last E, and I, again I used that white gold mica. And I used um, those really cool little fake sprinkles in there. And yeah, so he is done. And yeah, don't forget about a World Health Day. I just want to mention that again. Um, Jack Septic Guy right there. He's organizing a huge uh, charity live stream. So go check it out. He literally, in my last video, I have a link of the video that he put up. I may put that again in this um, video with more detailed information in it. So if you want to go check that video out, because then you'll, you know, he's going to give like the time that the stream is starting. Um, he has a whole list of people. Um, he didn't give out the list of p other the other creators or YouTubers or streamers yet, uh, but he's still kind of organizing it. But it's definitely going to be on World Health Day. That's when he's doing his, and I think that they're all going to be doing it on the same day. All right, so that is that. Then I just wanted to show you guys some of the things I have been doing. Now, these are three cards I made. Um, for some friends and family and this is my first time making cards like in this way I mean when I was a kid I made cards but you know I used um, that really cool paper pad so uh, this is for my friend Flavia um, I'm gonna tell her to watch this video because um, her birthday was March 13th and I have not been able to see her I think I saw her before then so I made, she loves butterflies and stuff, so I made her this really cool um, card with this paper, and then I added this little section here, and then I added this to it, I actually added this little part here, 
and then I made her a I'm doing like little bookmarks and I just took a piece of paper and it's really really cool paper so she loves butterflies so that was the very simple card I made for her and I'm really enjoying doing this um, this paper is just so beautiful to work with and it really feels very very heavy like this card something like this would have cost me fifteen dollars and I mean it's not perfect but you know so what it's like handmade it's really really pretty and I think people I really appreciate handmade stuff so this is actually for my mother's cousin she just turned 83 and I have to send it out I'm either probably gonna make her an envelope for it um, I want to get some velcro or something that I could like seal it with if anyone has any good ideas we have to actually mail it or I'm gonna have to find an envelope this big I don't know we'll see so I made this for her you know I cut out different papers so I thought that was really cool uh, she lives in Florida so I kind of did more sunny colors for her and yeah so this one came out really nice um, so I, I think I added yeah I added this I had this little section here welcome spring and then I made a little pocket for her and I actually made her a really huge um, uh, bookmark so it just says flourish nourish cheer and I made her a little pocket. I put her name in there. And I made her a little mini card too. So I thought that came out. If my camera would focus. Yeah, so that came out really cool. And that's that one. So I'm really having a lot of fun. Um, during this, this paper is so pretty. Um, yeah, so during this I had an idea for myself just to keep my spirits up and my friends spirits up what I'm going to do is every person I make a, a card for I was thinking of making a card um, for all my friends uh, people that I cannot see right now and I have no idea when I'm gonna see them I was actually gonna make them a card and make them an individual video each like just to send to them like privately so I'm going to send my friend Flavia a little um, video with her birthday gift um, and the card. I'm just going to kind of read it to him in the video. So I thought that was kind of cool. So, you know, this envelope is definitely not perfect, but this paper is gorgeous. So I just kind of made a makeshift envelope. This is for my friend Sonia. So this is her card. She likes these very rich uh, very romantic colors. So this is happiness blooms within. And I added these flowers here. I added this paper. This paper is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. And that's the back of it. I added this part and this part. And I think I added this part too. Oh no, that's part of the paper. This paper is absolutely gorgeous. And again, I use this little kind of section here. I think I use a couple of different um, from different paper pads so that is her little section I love this I could actually write something on it and I made two different bookmarks um, one side has this and the other side has that one is for her and one is for her mother and then I also made her a little pocket and I also made her a little mini card as well so that has been my little style so far and I actually ordered some washi tape to kind of add to these cards so yeah so that is my three cards I made with my papers that I just bought recently and I'm having a lot of fun with this it's keeping me creative um, it's giving me little ideas to do for my friends and family and speaking of that I want to, you know, my next card I have to make is for my daughter or my stepdaughter. I don't like calling her my stepdaughter. But tomorrow, or April 2nd, I don't know when this video is coming out, she is going to be 25 years old. So that's my happy, happy, happy birthday, Cheyenne, my beautiful baby girl, um, 25. And actually, it is officially April. And April is our month. 
her birthday is on the 2nd and mine is actually on the 29th. I am going to be 50. So we were kind of complaining today of how our birthdays are kind of not going to be what, you know, we wanted due to the atmosphere and just everything. You know, the, the coronavirus is not, you know, that is obviously something that is horrible going on in the world. So we're kind of like commiserating with our birthdays, not kind of being what we want. She's going to be 25, which is a milestone. I'm going to be 50, which is a milestone. But, you know, we're going to make the best out of it. Um, she lives upstate, so, you know, um, we're going to have to celebrate uh, with each other via video. And I know that uh, where she is, you know, she will celebrate the way she can, and I'm going to celebrate the way I can. So, yeah, in exactly 28 days, I'm going to be 50. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it. Anyway. All right. So, that is that. Now, I'm just going to bring up kind of what I want to do next. And I just want to show you one thing I bought that actually came today. So, I bought another little paper pad. I got this off of Amazon because Michael's had a great sale online, but everything was sold out. All the paper pads were sold out. They had like a great deal. Again, like buy one, get two free, but every one of the papers was sold out. So, I was like... Oh, well, you know, Amazon. And then, of course, they they charge shipping. So I'm like, you know what? Let me go to Amazon. Let me see what I can find. This is a 6 by 6 inch paper pad. Uh, oh, yeah. The name is Cartabella. That is the uh, name brand. And this is the Botanical Garden. And I just wanted to show you. Really, this is double-sided. So this paper is really pretty. Wow. It's a really nice... And I am definitely thinking about using this paper for two different people. Um, I'm probably going to use my bigger paper and then um, add some accents with this one. I mean, I can make like a tiny card and add that to the bigger card. So I just want to share that with you. And now the next video I'm probably going to make is I'm going to do some, you know, spring Easter stuff. So I had bought this. I showed this to you guys already. Um, I got this at the Dollar Tree. I got some cute little carrots. It's five pieces. So I'm going to do some blooms on these. And then this guy, I'm going to throw away these markers because they probably suck. <laughs> and I'm going to pour over this cute little egg. I don't know what kind of pour I'm going to do on this yet. But I was thinking about doing some blooms. So I'm going to do like a video of some blooms. And maybe I'll do like half, half and half do some blooms with one video and then pay use like maybe do some different um different uh types of pours because there's like 10 of them so maybe i'll do like five and five whatever i'll do some different um types of pours on these and i'll probably pick a different pour on this one and these actually have holes on it so maybe i can actually do some kind of craft thing and i do have some um like like jewelry wire and stuff like that maybe I can make a little string like a little sign or something with that with all my little blooms all right guys so that is it it was a short little video today and I hope you enjoyed it and yes the next video I will get back to doing some painting I guess I'm gonna do some blooms first and then I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with this uh, with these guys and then um, yeah, and then I'm going to make some cards on my own. Maybe I'll show them to you. You know, it's like maybe I'll make a card on here. Who knows? But, you know, um, I don't know how heavily I'm going to get into paper crafting. Uh, there's tons of stuff you could buy for. I did buy some washi tape. Um, yeah, I don't know how much, like, you know, but I'm just, like, enjoying this. And I think this is a really cool way of just showing some appreciation to my friends and this, you know, these papers are really, really good quality, really heavy stock. Uh, they're just gorgeous, so it's very easy to get creative with it. And I learned a lot from you guys out there, all you crafters out there, um, you know, making these little pockets and these little Memdex cards, which I have no clue <laughs> how to make them. But um, I just like making cards for my friends and family. And I just think this paper is just gorgeous. Um, you know, uh, to do stuff with, and it's really not that hard. 
So yeah, I hope you enjoy my little beach scene. This guy is done and that's it. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you never miss any one of my videos. If you would like, you can follow me on social media. All the links will be below. And if you want to further uh, support me on my channel, um, you can leave me a little donation on my PayPal. And if anyone is interested in buying any of my pieces, uh, my email is in the description below as well. So guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye. Be safe and take care.